quill. Whoa. I don't know if it is the lack of sleep or if it is allergies or what, but my eyes are irritated today. Like, I don't know, like my left eye is pretty red and then my right eye is swollen. My dad says it looks like I punched myself in the face. And I'm like, look, I know I move in my sleep, but I don't move enough to punch myself in the face. Maybe, pretty sure I don't. Anyways, it is Thursday, May 28th, if that should give you any indication as to how this week is going. I posted to Facebook a few hours ago that I don't know which is more weary, my body or my soul. <laughs> and I, still that's true. And I don't know, like it's not like, Nothing, I don't think, nothing bad has personally happened to me, per se, but it's just like, I was telling my dad the other day that the news is just exhausting. Like, mentally exhausting. I, I can't, I can't look at the news without, you know, something dumb happening or something, or some huge injustice being highlighted, or it's just... <sighs> yeah, it's just one of those things. Anyways! Welcome to the week four of the Kindle experiment. I don't know, I don't like I'm calling it an experiment as if this was conducted in any sort of scientific manner. It was mostly just, hey, I'm gonna read books advertised on my Kindle because why the f not? Anyways, I finished the Atlantis gene and I have some thoughts. I don't, it's not like I, it's not a bad book. It's not, I, I, I love how I start off every book that I don't like by going, well, it's not a bad book. It's not, it's well-written, it's pretty good. The problem I had with it is, so it's the, it's the exact opposite of what I wanted out of the last several books that I read where everything was like super excited in the beginning and then where everything was like super dull for the first like 70% uh, of the book and then the, last, the plot happened in the last like 30% and you're like, great, give me whiplash, awesome. And this book had the opposite problem, sort of. So the first like 20 to 30% of this book was on fire. It was go, go, go. Like either there was, like there was always something happening. It may not have always been like running and gunning, but there was always something happening to move the plot forward. And then it just stops. It just, we hit this, the most boring part of the book where the two characters Kate and David, the two main characters, are hiding out in some Tibetan monastery somewhere. Well, somewhere, I mean, obviously it's a Tibet, whatever. They're hiding out in some monastery somewhere, and Kate is reading this journal of a guy who is very important, and it's, it's just, it's very boring. It's very boring, because it's, you cut from... Every now and again, you cut back to Kate and David as she's reading him the journal and he's recovering from gunshot wounds because they did like a, you know, an action thing earlier. And it, it just cuts, it's this, it's, it's like a book in the middle of the book. And then in the middle of that book, that guy starts telling his backstory and you're like, it's backstory inception. What is happening here? And it's like, I knew what was in the book or what was in the journal that the character's reading was important because this author has established that very little in this book happens without purpose, which I appreciate. It's it's very, like the like I said, the book was very well written. It was just so hard for me to get through the middle because that journal was such like a, it was such a, just a departure because it felt like I didn't need a whole lot of that. I'm pretty certain that you could have started like halfway through the entries and it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have missed that much because everything that was important happens at the end of the book or the end of the journal. And then after that, it's like, go, 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 go. Like we get back to the action. And that was, that was good. I mean, it was a good book. I give it, I only give it, I only give it, I guess like three stars. I'm trying, I'm trying to decide between three and four stars because I liked it. I mean, it was good. I don't, I don't know if I want to go on to read the rest of the series just because not really my cup of tea. But it was good. I mean, it was well written and the action scenes when there were action were awesome. It was just that middle chunk was such a slog, such a slog. And then like all the plot twists, all the plot twists at the, like, it's like every, every like other chapter is a plot twist at towards the end of this book. It's like, oh yeah, you thought this guy was dead. He's alive. You thought he, this guy was dead. He's also alive. These people, they were dead. They're still alive. I'm just like, huh. Who's not? Who's actually dead in this book? Aside from like the dude at the beginning. <sighs> Anyways, 
I thought it was good. I liked it. Uh, I'm, I'm still, so my goal, and it's the 28th, so I'm shooting myself in the foot when I say this. My goal is to finish two more books. Uh, Anyways, I gotta figure out what books I'll, uh, I'll actually probably just tag that on because I don't know if I'm gonna do that right now because I still have to update my, I have to eat my food to start with because I, I just got out of bed. Yes, I know it's eight o'clock at night and I know I just got out of bed and I don't feel bad about it. I'm nocturnal. This is my natural way of life. I live during the night and I sleep during the day because the day star is, is, is evil. Anyways. I'm gonna, f I gotta finish updating my book journal with all my thoughts on the Atlantis gene, which was a lot. I still have that 50 question book tag video I haven't finished ed editing. Like I put all, I went so far as to put all of the, I got really far in editing that one. And I don't know why I stopped because I went so far as to put all the clips in a Premiere profile. I even like created some graphics and everything. And then I just didn't, I just didn't finish it. I was like, eh, I'll do this later. And then here we are on Thursday because I don't know, like I said, I, I felt I was lacking motivation to do things earlier this week. And I don't know if it's just because I was physically tired or mentally tired, or maybe a little bit of both, probably a little bit of both. It's always a little bit of both. Anyways, so that's it for this update. So I've been rambling for six minutes and I don't know how much of it I'm gonna use. I'm gonna eat my food, I'm gonna take my day quill so maybe my face stops swelling up so badly. And then I'm going to, I don't know. I'll come back in a few hours when I figure out what the hell's going on with my brain or whatever. Anyways. <sighs> Probably saying to yourself, Megan, it's only been eight hours. Why do you look worse than before? That's the way time works, people. Right, my sinus headache went from right over here and everything sort of concentrated right here. So I think that's, that's my cue to be done for the day. I, you know, I did stuff. I, I finished, I finished filling out my book, my book journal for the Atlantis gene, which I did rant a little bit about to my friends. I might include that clip at some point. I don't know. And then I picked another book. I say I picked another book. I made Google pick another book for me because I made it roll a dice. We do that when we play Battlefront 2 and we can't decide what faction to play. We have Google roll a d6 because my friend has a Google home and it tells us what to play. And I did the same thing. I was like, hey, roll this dice for me. And we are reading another romance novel. So we're reading Temptation by Ivy Smoke, I, which is more than likely a pen name. But, you know, I'm whoever, who cares? Anyway. And the tagline for it is reclusive billion, forbidden romance between reclusive billionaire and shy student. If that's ringing any bells for you, it's because that's, I kind of think basically what Fifty Shades was. You've got billionaire plus student and hopefully uh, we're a little clearer on lines of consent and, you know, just comfort zones in the bedroom. Anyways. I'm, I'm having flashbacks to the last uh, romance novel that I read, which was On the Edge by Brittany Sahin. Not a terrible book. I've just learned that romance is definitely not my thing. So we'll see how much of a nightmare that is. We'll even, we'll, I mean, we'll see if I even get to it tonight, because again, I have a headache. So what I'll probably, I say headache. Headache is a mild way of putting it. Migraine. It, every light is very bright, and I feel like I'm going to throw up all the time. So I'm going to go... Spend a couple of hours probably laying down with an ice pack on my brain. Right here, I put it right here and it just feels so much better. Anyways, I'm gonna put an ice pack on my face and probably listen to something at a very, very low volume. And by low volume, I mean almost to the point where I can't hear it. Speaking of things that I can't hear, my friend Kari, my soulmate, my platonic soulmate, the extension of my existence, my clone, my very, very dear, dear friend. I went on at one point a rant in Battlefront 2 about how I don't like ASMR. I don't like it. I don't like it. it it's creepy. It gives me bad tingles. Like everybody's like, oh, I love the tingles. I don't, I don't like it. It just takes my anxiety and like turns it up to 12 and it's already at like a six baseline most days. So. And she told me about one that she threatened to link me, and she did today, about a dude who does, like, roleplay ASMRs. 
And the one she linked to me was where he apparently rescues you from a Russian mafia guy and like, and then like patches you up and stuff. And I'm like, that's weird. That's weird. So I watched it out of deference to my friend because she wanted to watch me suffer and I enjoy entertaining my friends. So I suffered and I got like maybe five minutes into it. But now YouTube is like you watched, you clicked on that one video and you watched more than this much of it. So you want to see more? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. I, I completely forgot what I was talking about before I went off on a tangent about ASMR. Yeah, anyway, so plan tonight. Toast, pills, darkness. Yeah, I, I'll, I will start Temptation at some point because I want to get two more books done. Because I hate myself. I want to get two more books done before the end of Monday. Just because I thought two was a good number. I was looking at most of what was on my list for Kindle Unlimited, like most of what, Kindle Unlimited, for the Kindle experiment. I was looking at most of what was there and most of these books are like between three and 400 pages and I can do a three to 400 page book. Assuming I have the time management, motivation and willpower to actually like read the book or at least listen to it instead of watching Netflix or YouTube, but I'm watching through the West Wing for like the 4,000th time. It's so great, I love it. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go either eat some toast or some pizza rolls, get some food, and maybe start Temptation at some point tonight. I'm gonna download it at least. If it's got an audiobook, I might do it. Ooh, I don't know if I can do an audiobook of a romance novel. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, that's gonna be real weird if my dad walks into my room at the inopportune moment. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, so it is 3.15. I'm going to eat some food, lay down, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, hopefully sometime tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's, a, it's been a weird week. <sighs> bittersweet update, my dudes. I say bittersweet because it's the last update I'm going to record for the Kindle experiment. I mean, I'll be, I'll still be doing a postmortem-esque thing where basically I, I go through and I look at all the books that I read and I look at all the advertisements I got and we just kind of give some give some final thoughts on the experiment and, uh, you know, where uh, pros, cons, you know, things like that. Just final thoughts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bit. It'll take me a couple days to sort of like sort through all of my thoughts on that and put it up. I'm realizing the end of this month and beginning of next month. So the end of a month and beginning of a month in general, a very busy time for booktube channels. Cause it's like, I need to do a May wrap up which I still need to finish a couple books before I do that anyways. I need to do a May wrap up. I need to do a June TBR. I need to do, I still have to edit and upload the 50 question book tag that I did. I have to do the Kindle experiment update and the postmortem. So I'm, I'm having, I'm, I'm figuring out that for today, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff for my, my YouTube channel. So that's just where we're at today. And I didn't read anything yesterday. I guess I should tell you what, it's it's Saturday, it's Saturday, it's 7 o'clock on a Saturday, p.m. <laughs> because that's when I get out of bed right now. I do these things where I am either very nocturnal or very not nocturnal. What's the opposite to nocturnal? Normal? <laughs> I, I either overcorrect my sleep schedule where I'm awake at like 6 in the morning or I don't go to bed until 6 in the morning and then wake up sometime between like 4 and 6 in the afternoon. And my dad's like, it's sleeping too late. And like, Shut up. You can't tell me what to do. I'm 30. If I want to make terrible decisions, I'll make my terrible decisions. Also, I'm just waiting for my new insurance to kick in so I can go to a doctor and get some medicine to help me sleep because that's the problem is it just some days cannot go to sleep. Some days my brain is like, hey, you know that switch you wanted to flip to turn us off? You missed it. But I did start reading today. I did like 20 minutes ago or like an hour ago because I did once I woke up, I just sort of laid in bed for a little while. I did about an hour ago start reading Temptation by Ivy Smoke. That's our next, that's the next book that we're reading. And uh, if I compare all my first few, my first few minutes with On the Edge to Temptation, Temptation's not gonna cut it for me. I can already tell I probably won't enjoy this book, both from a writing standpoint and both from a, uh, a content standpoint, because so far within the first like five pages, the, the, the book is already just I'm cringing already. It also is another one of those super short chapter books and I'm not, 
I'm not, I don't like that. That's just a personal preference though. I don't like it because it, it feels like it's a, a break in the action. Like it, it interrupts the flow of the story for me. But that's, that's a personal preference. That's not, that's not something I'm going to knock an author for. That's just something that I'm going to keep in mind when reading books. Anyways. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and upload this clip to my computer. That's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and work and get these up in the next couple hours. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Like if you liked it. Sub if you want more stuff. I've got a bunch of videos coming up now because I've got my May TBR or my May wrap up, my June TBR, the 50 question book tag. I've got this. I've got a postmortem. So I, you would think that I would give my final thoughts in this update, but I really don't because this video is already going to be like 15, 20 minutes long, I think, unless I can edit out other clips. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm going to do a final thoughts video at some point in the next few days with like what I thought of the Kindle experiment, stuff like that. And then, uh, oh, I also, I promised my friend that I would read the, I would read the sequel novella to On the Edge because I'm a crazy person. And then my brother, my brother and I, I found a, an alien breeder novel or something like that. There was a weird like novella that I found the other day that my brother wanted me to read. So I might do that too, because why not read a bunch of books that are cringe worthy? Who knows? Who knows? So that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, sub. I never know how to end these things without being awkward, so I'm just gonna go. Bye, guys. Bye!